what we're going to do is we're going to use the weight a little we have. Luck, fortunately, what we've got is we've got a pseudo-Olympic bar. It's not a 45 pounder per se. It's not exactly seven feet long, but it still gives us the opportunity to use some free weights and some functional exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to do some compound movements in terms of the chest, back, and shoulders by doing some bench presses. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth between the bench presses and tenthly rows. So what we'll do is we'll demonstrate the bench press for you. We're going to do anywhere from three to five sets of eight reps. It depends on how you're feeling and what you want to accomplish in your level of fitness. Understand you're not necessarily going to have the weights available to you that you're going to use at home. So the key here is to up your weight in your rep count, increase the intensity, just so that you can maintain the hypertrophy and the strength that you've actually started with, okay? So, we're going to get started with the bench press first. Okay, so we're going to get Julie to come in and she's going to demonstrate the bench press. And we'll just go through the techniques. What time then the bed is better than the present to actually get your technique proper. She's going to slide down. Her feet are going to be flat. Ideally, flat on the floor, either side. She's going to assure, make sure with the bar that you have an even grip. The knurling is your reference point. So she's going to take the bar. The key with doing any type of exercise you need to understand is you need to focus enough and be present to the fact that you're going to execute the exercise. Not just moving up and down like a yo-yo. You want to work the muscles in both directions, all right? So she cleans the weight off. She lowers and explodes. Boom. So she's doing about a two to one ratio. She's lowering under a two count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, boom, up as fast as she can. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, boom, up as fast as she can. What this does is it activates neural activity, creates neural activity in the musculature and really recruits the fibers that aren't used to working that hard. How many reps is that? Eight. Eight. Good. Fantastic. All right, Julie, thanks. So we needed to improvise a bit. We had two benches, and obviously Julie's weight is not going to be the same as mine. But what we did is we went to about, I would say, 60, 70 percent single rep max. We did five sets of eight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we did the push. We did a compound move with the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a pendley row. And we're going to do five sets of eight of those. Literally, with the pendley row, you're going to stand almost as if you're an Olympic lifter and you're going to clean the bar. Your back is straight and neutral. The bar is pretty well up against the shins, making sure your grip is solid. You're going to do eight repetitions, but with a pendley, what you do every time is release the weight. Eight times, five reps, set, sorry. And then we'll come back and give you another exercise. All right? What we've done is we've done our bench, done our pendley rows. The dumbbells are a little bit lacking in terms of resistance, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna do a single joint movement by using the shoulders only and using isolated the pecs. I only have 10 kg to work with, but still, if I can do five sets or four sets or five sets of 10 to 12, 14 reps, I'm still isolating, I'm still maintaining some degree of hypertrophy and strength and load to the chest. So I'm going to do them and demonstrate it for you. We're going to do flats first. Back in. Arms are cocked. Literally, your arms are cocked a bit. You're not in a press position. And it's as if you're reaching around a big barrel. Again, lower slow. Open it up, explode. Lower slow, open it up, explode. Lower slow, open it up, explode. Why do you put the dumbbells back? Slide them down in your hips and put them down in this position. Okay? Let's move on to that. Okay, so what we've done is we've done the chest. So what we're going to work now is because we don't have a chinning bar, the function of that, functionality of it is that we prefer to do some chin-ups, but we can't do this. So we have what's called, it's basically for lack of intent, any, any better terms, it's a gladiator machine, or basically a device machine. We're going to do pull-downs, and essentially what you're going to do is make sure that when you do your pull-downs, you anchor in and you're not pulling behind your neck. You're literally going to take 
extend the arms, and then pull down and pack the shoulders into their socket, and then down to the chest. Down to the chest, under resistance up. Okay, this movement is for the lats. It'll hit the post through your delts. It'll also work the biceps, and that will be a pull portion. All right, we'll be back. Notice the movement with Julie. She's pulling down with some force and then lowering it very smooth under load, right? It's perfect execution. Her shoulders are packed and down, maintaining them in the socket and moving through the full range of motion. So we did the chest and the back. We did a push pull, we did bench press, we did incline flies, we did flat flies, we did penalty rows, and we did pull downs. We're going to do some pullovers as well. What we're finishing off with is we're going to do two exercises per body part. We're going to do bicep, tricep. We're going to superset them because we want to get out there and get some sun, we want to have some lunch, we want to get out of here. Pretty well what we put into this is about a half an hour to 45 minutes if you're going at a good pace. Obviously we're stopping to set up the camera to give you some instruction. First exercise, we'll use the machine, is tricep extensive. Stand, bend your knees, backs nice and straight and neutral. Pull the arms down and in, lock your elbows into your sides, and you're literally going to again, extend and up, extend and up, under load, extend and up, keeping the back nice and straight and neutral. Right from that, you step back in, picking up your bar. Again, here the key is with the biceps, not coming out like this, we're loading the low back and we're not isolating the biceps. We want to have the bar up along the body and then down, up along the body and then down, up along the body and then down. We're going to do three sets of eight, supersetting back and forth, and we're done. And there you go. You've got a workout. You can use any gym. I will show you one more exercise. We're going to show you some dips, and we're going to show you some alternate curls. And then we'll be off to the races. Okay, so what we've done is we've done two exercises for the biceps. We're going to finish up with two more. Given that the dumbbells are not heavy enough for me, I've improvised a little bit something, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the pull downs. But what Julie's going to do is she's going to do seated alternate curls with lying dumbbell skull crushers. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do basically almost a concentration or preacher curl, which is not necessarily functional for posture, but in this case, what I'm trying to do is get my biceps working. All right? So one Julie will be doing, she will be rolling with. Alternates, remember, she's doing an alternate curl. The elbows again, go back. You're not coming out like this. You're literally sliding up in the side, either way. All right, then she's going to lay back, and she's going to do skull crushers with both dumbbells. So we're working bicep, we're working tricep, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to a little bit of a different level. I'm going to use the tricep extension unit that we had and I'm going to obviously load it a little heavier, and I'm going to do a curl down and in, like a preacher curl, which is something I would not suggest anybody do, unless, of course, you're stable with this and your posture is reasonably consistent. You're going to do eight of those, then I roll over, and I'm going to do skull crushers with the bar. And we're done. All right?